Now I'm ready to recap the events. Nope. I've never done that before. Well. This past weekend, we went down to Niagara Falls to enjoy my birthday. And part of that birthday celebration included going down to Fort Erie so we could try some delicious food. We went to check out Rizzo's House of Parm. This is a restaurant owned by celebrity chef Manny Matheson. If you recognize the name, it's probably because you're a fan of The Bear, you watch his YouTube channel, Cooking Something, or maybe own his cookbook. Either way, amazing time. And with no further delay, here's our experience at Rizzo's House of Parm. So an hour later, we couldn't get a table, obviously, but we are going to go get some food. Uh, should be ready in a minute or two. This is a beautiful, beautiful little spot, by the way. Like, um, if you live in the area or if you live nearby, it's worth coming to, for sure. It's worth the drive. Do you think it's worth the drive, too? I think so. From how yeah. far? Well, I love these. Case, like four and a half hours. <laughs> Three and a half. <laughs> While Parmesan dishes are pretty much the star of the show at Rizzo's House of Parm, the menu's pretty full too. With plenty of appetizers, desserts, pastas, soups and salads, uh, and a kid's menu, you're gonna find something for everybody in the family. Okay, it smells incredible in here. It smells so good. <laughs> Guys, we got a whole meal from Rizzo's. We got a, a vodka pasta. We got roasted potatoes. There is the incredible looking Chicken parmesan. Chicken parmesan. You might have to open that. Chicken parm. There's our matzo sticks right there. Doesn't that look great, everybody? There is the side spaghetti that goes with uh, the parm. And then finally, uh, Maddie's salad, which is a specific salad that uh, comes with this. Okay, guys, Dars just went in to get the fork and knife. So a couple of things about our meal. We did substitute bolognese for vodka, which they were great to do. And then we added the matzo sticks on there. So this is a meal that you can buy. It is $100. You're getting a, all this stuff, which looks great. It's, it's good stuff. But obviously, make sure you do your reservations. From what I can see, they're pretty booked up about a week in advance. So uh, when we get our fork and knife, we will dine. There she is! We're gonna start off with some matzo sticks. A little cup of marinara with it. We haven't been car diners in a while. Not since COVID. Not but. since COVID. So as I mentioned earlier, we did get the meal for two people. Matzo sticks are not included. They are an additional $16 charge. And honestly, they're extremely worth it. A highlight of this meal. Yeah, I love fried cheese. <laughs> it's so good. Double dipped, because it's just my husband and I. Yeah. She slaps, Maddie. <laughs> this dish was tomato, cream, breadcrumbs, and parm, and you can really taste the parm. It's really strong. Highly recommended. Get this dish if you are craving something that is creamy and cheesy, for sure. Yum, 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 Now, Rizzo's House of Parm has a really great and full menu, but its show is still those Parmesan plates, and you can get that done in a few different ways. Chicken, eggplant, veal, or half chicken marsala. Prices vary depending which one you want, and that side spaghetti is $9 extra. My recommendation, ultimately, is to skip the side spaghetti and to pick one of the pasta dishes instead. They have such great options on the menu. I don't think you'll regret this. The spaghetti wasn't bad. It was just a little plain compared to the actual Parmesan dish. So good. It was good? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna try the roasted potatoes. Here's a, a little cheesy looking fella. Looks pretty good to me. Let's see how this goes. Pretty good. That was really good. Yeah, kind of herby, a little bit cheesy. All right, and finally, the tiramisu. Okay, that 
that is really good though. You can taste like the alcohol and the coffee and it's like a really soft creamy. One thing you didn't see in the videos, we did enjoy Maddie's salad later at home. This was a real standout. I mean, I don't know about you, salads can sometimes be hit and miss, but this thing had flavor. It packed flavor. The other thing I wanted to call out, yes, we really enjoyed this whole meal. It was very worth it, but I would very much so recommend that you dine in if you're going to be coming to Rizzo's House of Parm. The dine-in experience is totally different. The inside of the restaurant is absolutely worth enjoying. Um, it's bustling, it's small. Uh, if you are somebody who lives uh, through other people's energy and you enjoy that and you kind of like to people watch, this is this is a great spot to, uh, to have a dinner. Um, one thing to call out, of course, they do get packed. I mentioned that earlier. Their reservations are are booked weeks in advance, uh, it looks like. So make sure you do get that reservation. But but if you're flexible and you have some time and you want to kill some time in Fort Erie or Crystal Beach, uh, you can come in and you can try to wait. Uh, we were given a, a time of 7 p.m. We arrived at 4 p.m. So we kind of didn't want that. But just because we had other things we needed to do. But keep that in mind. If that's something that you're interested in, make sure you put the effort in uh, to dine into this restaurant. The takeout was really good. The food held up for sure. But I, I do have a bit of a regret that we were not able to dine in. And that does it for us. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you soon.